all right guys here we go uh just got off the phone with tim the maple dude make sure you guys go watch some of his videos he actually just posted a video that me and him were discussing this morning of him setting up a new woods running his mains and uh go give that one a watch uh if you're wanting if you have any other questions this is going to go a lot more in depth i'm just kind of showing you guys my project for today um made up this spinning jenny rig here for in the back so i can actually just drive along and unreel it once i tie it off or just pull off like i'm going to do here um this is going to be one of the set posts my line's going to come right here and it's going to have a disconnect between right here and that other post over there so you can drive through here in the summer and everything but um probably leave it hooked up during the season and just drive on the other side here so i'm gonna wrap around this one get a line ran just have it sitting there somewhat snug and then i'll set it all to grade going through here in a minute and then once i'm over, done over here same thing i'll go there and then i'm just going to drive this along and then like for right now every hundred feet just put a little clip holding the line up and then i'll start setting tension and grade um at another time but i'm just wanting to get the stuff run we have a big snowstorm coming in this side over here has already got my grade lines set up so supposedly per my transit I'm having a hard time believing it but from right here to where my tanks at over there is eight inches lower <laughs> I guess it don't lie so but if you're looking at it with the naked eye you'd say it's uphill but we're gonna go with uh, what the transit says put your faith in the equipment Don't need a lot of tools for this, but you do need some specialized tool. Like this is the biggest one. Uh, Tim really likes using those gripples. Um, I like them too. This was just a lot easier for me to get my hands on at the local farm store. Only reason I went with this way. So they actually didn't have any of the gripples or the gripple tool. So this is the route I decided to go. I'm probably only gonna put a buckle on one end of the line i thought about doing both ends and I, I still may do that but i think i can get away with just doing one all right so let's get going i know this video is kind of sloppy and everything but I'm just trying to get moving and going and kind of show you guys today's project so all right let's get rolling So here's going to be the pump house, the old deer blind. It's already insulated. Um, it's getting to be at the end of the life of a deer blind, so to speak. It looks decent on the outside because of the vinyl, but this wasn't very practical. So I'm going to put all my tools, tubing, pump, everything in here. And at night, I'll just put a buddy heater in here. I think just the pilot in here will probably keep it warm enough, but I might have to turn on low on the cold nights. Still not a big deal, but uh, that's going to be the pump house. If you look behind me through the window, you can see my grade lines going that way because there's going to be a main going straight out the back, go right into here. Tank's going to sit right here where I'm at. And, um, this is the only pump pump up I'm going to have to do. The tank's going to be here. 
there's going to be a sump pump with a float in there as soon as the tank gets three quarters full automatically kick on start pumping up this line and what i do is because it's going to be a sump pump i'm not going to put a check valve on it so it can drain every night but i'm going up all the way to the crest of that hill it's it's uphill quite a bit um so after the pump's done pumping up to the top of that hill then it's two percent fall all the way up to the house from there so it's this sump pump's only got to pump up about four foot in height over 80 90 feet that way so sump pump should have no problems doing that so pump will be running out here sump pump will be it ran off the generator it'll all be self self running um that'll be pretty nice it'll just keep going back and then obviously i won't have to check the level of this tank because this sump pump will be working the tank up at the house will be getting filled so in theory this should work out really nice should um i got one of the sap spies i bit the bullet and got that for this unit here um that way if anything shuts off I'll be able to come zipping right back or whatever. This this is my biggest, going to be my biggest tap woods and my money maker. Uh, your money's made in the woods. That's something I have overlooked in years past. And uh, I've spent all my time, effort, and money up in the sugar bush on the evaporator, on the RO, um, getting the commercial kitchen, all that stuff, which needs to be done anyway, but... I haven't paid as much attention to efficiency out here and I've been 100% efficiency up there and it's no different than a farmer you know that's got 20 acres that gets 20 bushels an acre versus the farmer that's got the same amount of acres that's getting 80 bushels an acre of beans you know um, he's more efficient he's fertilizing he's doing all the right things so that's what I'm gonna focus on now taking what I got and getting the most yield out of my setup so a lot of work to do out here yet but it's actually not bad weather this is this is pretty nice especially once you get into the woods here so 5 16 tubing three quarter tubing around the tree i ended up putting tightener on each side um especially on the long run i noticed it was really nice and taut about halfway and then it started getting loosened up so i ended up taking the end off and putting another one of these on up there which i'll show you and tightened it and so it, it worked out really nice this can have a little bit more but it's just up there rough but we'll go up there real quick and i'll show you what that looks like all right we're up at the top of that hill so this is where we got to pump up to we were just down there obviously we're at the top of that you can see how much it falls that way so right here is the highest point of that line sap's got a pump from up there to right here and as soon as it gets to right here it starts falling all the way up to the barn and you can see that the barn's quarter of the way covered. You can't even see the tanks or nothing like that. So we had some natural fall, but we also had to make some too. I'll drive along, kind of show you a low spot that we had to go through. All right, so there's, there's a hill here. You can see that it's only like two foot off the ground there. Well, down there, it's like six foot. Those are 10 foot post. You can just barely make out the line right there. But what we had to do is we were starting to get low to the ground to where we needed to be. So I was able with this hill here to split it. So right here, it's the start of this line going 2% all the way to the barn and then it's still 2% from back there 
but we did a step up to get the line farther off the ground to still get 2%. So right back there is where it starts and it comes through here. And then I do a lot more than 2% fall, obviously, right here, because it's just gonna fall and get to right there. And then from there, again, 2%. Because if we had started out like this to get the grade all the way through, we'd be right here. Well, we'd be over these posts right there. It, the, li the line would have been over top, the high tensile would have been over top of those posts. So we kind of had to split the difference and it made the most sense to do it right here. Alright guys, I just got the high tensile set for the one inch main. And then three quarters are going to come into this one inch main. But uh, I got this set. I'll show you how I ended up doing it. I ended up going with uh, Roth style of 30 penny nail four inches long three quarter inch tubing run under the nail that way if a tree falls or whatever it just rips the plastic tubing um, this was my grade and I cut a piece of tube to where I wanted it to be and I just held a piece of tube to it and put that underneath the nail all the way through so I wasn't, I wanted to lower it this much because when it's at six foot or six and a half foot back there over my head, bringing it down this much made it to where it's at least manageable to work with. So that's why I dropped it like I did for my original grade. Left the nail out so as the tree grows. I gotta put one on there. I wasn't gonna go around that tree, then I decided to because it uh, split that span between um, this tree here and that tree back there. But goes all the way back there. Not walking all the way back. I'm done for the day. Got quite a bit done, honestly. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. And uh, we'll start rolling out some tubing here soon. See ya. Make sure to go watch Tim's video too. The Maple Dude from Wisconsin. See you guys.